Hello to you and how do you do? I'm happy to see you. Hello to you. Hello to you and how do you do? I'm happy to see you. Hello to you. Hello my friends and welcome to the Ambitious Little Learners YouTube channel. I am Miss H and I am so happy to have you here with me on today. How are you feeling? Are you feeling so happy? If so, give me a big smile. What a beautiful smile you have. Maybe you're feeling just a little bit sad and that's okay. Maybe you're feeling just a little bit sleepy. You might even be feeling a little bit mad. However you are feeling, I hope that after watching today's video, your heart is filled with just a little bit more joy to carry you throughout your day. Today, we are going to learn and practice patterns. Do you know what a pattern is? Hmm, a pattern is a series of objects, movements, or any other thing that you could possibly think of that repeats itself over and over and over and over again. Today, we are going to read a book entitled Beep, beep, room, room, to help us learn about patterns. Here's our front cover. Here's our back cover. And hey, that's the author hanging out on the back cover. And here is our spine. Beep, beep, room, room, written by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Chris Damaris. Let's read. Beep, beep, vroom, vroom. Beep, beep, honk the yellow cars. Vroom, vroom, zoom the red cars. Crash, crash, bang the blue cars. Cars are fun, said Kevin, for big kids to play with. I like cars, said Molly. You're too little to play with my cars, said Kevin. Kevin, called mom. It's your turn to set the table. Oh, mom, grumbled Kevin. He carefully lined up all the cars on his shelf. When I come back, Kevin told Molly, I want to see my cars just the way I left them. Molly waited until Kevin went downstairs then, vroom, vroom, zoom the red cars, beep, beep, hunt the yellow cars, crash, crash, bang the blue cars. Dad heard lots of rooming, crashing, and beeping. Molly, Dad said, you know you shouldn't play with Kevin's cars unless you ask. Let's put them right back where you found them. Kevin always lines his cars up in a special way. Molly waited until Dad went downstairs. Then, crash, crash, bang the blue cards, beep, beep, honk the yellow cards, vroom, vroom, zoom the red cards. This time, Mom heard all the crashing, beeping, and vrooming. Oh, Molly, Mom said, I made a big mess with Kevin's cars. Can you help me put them back the way he lines them up? Molly waited until Mom went downstairs. Then, beep, beep, honk the yellow cars, vroom, vroom, zoom the red cars, crash, crash, bang the blue cars. Now Jigger heard the beeping, vrooming and crashing. Ruff! Digger barked. Ruff, ruff. Digger gave Molly lots of kisses and he wagged his tail a little too much. Mm -hmm. 
Molly, called Kevin from the kitchen. You better not be playing with my cars. I'm coming upstairs to see. Molly put the cars back on the shelf as fast as she could. She could hear Kevin coming closer and closer. Molly looked at the cars. They didn't look quite right. She lined them up again quickly. Hmm. When Kevin walked in the door, he found his cars just the way he left them. Vroom, vroom, zoom the red cars. Beep, beep, honk the yellow cars. Crash, crash, bang the blue cars. Maybe someday you'll be old enough to play with cars too, Molly, said Kevin. Surprise, Molly, said Mom. She was standing in the doorway. We were going to wait until your birthday to give you these, but we think you're old enough to have them now. Molly smiled at the shiny new cars, and then, beep beep, honk the green cars. Vroom vroom, zoom the purple cars. Crash! D. Mm. Wow. What I'm hoping my friends noticed while we were looking at that story is that every time someone caught Molly playing with her brother's cars, there was a different pattern in the book on how she arranged the cars. So when Kevin went downstairs to set the table, like his mom asked, he had the cars red, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow red blue yellow red blue yellow but when we go to the page where molly lines them up with dad they are not the way that kevin left them this time the cars are blue blue yellow yellow blue, red red blue blue yellow yellow red red it's a different pattern and then when we get to the time where mom catches Molly playing with Kevin's cars, they're in a different pattern again. This time, they're red, red, yellow, blue, blue, yellow, red, red, yellow, blue, blue, yellow. Each time, Molly arranges them in a different pattern, but by the end of the book, she has them back in the same pattern that her brother arranged them. She has yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, red. You can make a pattern out of anything. Let's practice singing about how we can make patterns with whatever we have around us. Are you ready? I think we're gonna have some fun. A pattern, a pattern, yes, we can make a pattern, a pattern, a pattern, patterns be. A pattern, a pattern, yes, we can make a pattern. A pattern, a pattern, patterns repeat. Smile, frown, smile, frown, smile, frown, patterns repeat. Say beep, beep, vroom, vroom, beep, beep, vroom, vroom, beep, beep, vroom, vroom, patterns repeat. Say beep, beep, vroom, vroom, beep, beep, vroom, vroom. Beep, beep, vroom, vroom, patterns repeat. Say clap, clap, shake, shake, clap, clap, shake, shake, clap, clap, shake, shake, patterns repeat. Clap, clap, shake, shake, clap, clap, shake, shake, clap, clap, shake, shake, patterns repeat. A pattern, a pattern, yes, we can make a pattern, a pattern, a pattern, yes, patterns repeat. A pattern, a pattern, yes, we can make a pattern. A pattern, a pattern, pattern to be. Wow. Friends, if you enjoyed that book and that song as much as I did, 
don't stop learning now. Go get your grown up and tell them it is their turn to learn so you can do a fun activity helping you practice your patterns. Today, I am going to show you two very simple, quick and low prep activities that you can put together for you and your child to practice patterns. For these activities, you are going to need access to blank paper, a dark crayon or black marker. Pencil will work as well. You're also going to need access to crayons, a pipe cleaner, or you could even improvise and use a spaghetti noodle, and pony or hair beads. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the paper activity first. This activity is going to be a pattern caterpillar. So on your blank piece of paper, you're going to take your dark marker and you're going to make a very simple caterpillar. Very simple. So I'm going to give him a head, two eyes, a smile, and antenna. And now for my caterpillar's bodies, I'm just going to do circles. For this activity, you are going to begin the pattern for your child and they are going to extend or finish the pattern. So with the crayons, I am going to choose two colors to practice an AB pattern on the caterpillar. I'm going to choose orange and green. So I'm going to color in orange. and green. Orange. Green. Now, once you have the pattern set, at this point you would ask your child there are two parts of the caterpillar that are not colored in. How can we finish this pattern? You would have your child go back to the beginning of the caterpillar and echo or repeat the pattern that is already set in place. Orange, green, orange, green, orange, green. And hopefully, because they've had a reference and you've practiced with them, they will know that the next two colors will be orange and then green. You can repeat the same activity by doing another caterpillar on the same piece of paper, but then doing a different type of pattern. This time, I'll do an AAB pattern. I'm going to use the same colors that I used on the above caterpillar, but if you want to change up the colors, that is absolutely fine. But this time I'm going to do an AAB pattern. So that would be orange, orange, green. Then you would ask your child to finish the pattern that you've already started by going back to the beginning and echoing or repeating, saying out loud, the pattern that has already been established. Orange, orange, green, orange, orange, green, orange, orange. And if you wanted to extend his body by one more circle, that last one would be green. The next activity I'm going to show you requires a pipe cleaner. But if you don't have access to a pipe cleaner, that is okay. An uncooked spaghetti noodle will work just as well. And you're also going to need access to some pony beads or hair beads, whatever is around your home. Activity, this is a little bit more independent. You are going to give your child the beads and the pipe cleaner or the noodle and ask them to show you a specific type of pattern. For example, you might say to your child, can you show me an AB pattern? And for that type of pattern, 
your child would choose two colored beads and they would repeat or show that pattern on the pipe cleaner or pasta noodle. For example, maybe they'll do blue, red, blue, red. Blue. Red. And they would continue this with any other type of pattern you might ask them to do. Maybe you ask them to do an AAB pattern. Maybe you ask them to do an ABC pattern. Once they have mastered different types of patterns that you have given them, you can also try to just allow them to be independent and show you a pattern that they come up with on their own. That will be a true challenge and lots of fun. I do want to advise you, if you are going to allow your child to use the beads, please make sure that you are close by because beads and other small parts are choking hazards. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Ambitious Little Learners YouTube channel. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to our page and also follow us on Facebook for even more fun, simple, low prep activities you can do at home with your child. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.